Welcome to the Lou Catino Show, where we can learn to reimagine our lifestyle. I hope you're doing good. Today, I want to talk about something which when we include in our diet, we can improve our muscle health and performance. What if I could improve my cellular health, which is for anti-aging? It doesn't mean we can reverse aging, but we can definitely slow it down by improving cellular health. Something that has anti-inflammatory effects, especially with all the inflammatory conditions and diseases that exist around us. What about neuroprotection? Protection against neurogenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And then, of course, cardiovascular health, which is the number one killer. And then metabolic health. Let's look and understand this particular urolithin A. What is urolithin A, also known as UA, being sold as supplements? But hey, you may not need a supplement. You can actually find this in natural foods. What is urolithin A? It's a natural compound produced by your gut bacteria from the metabolism of elagitanins and elagic acid. These are polyphenols found in certain foods. It's not directly present in foods, but it's formed in the colon when specific gut microbes break down these precursor compounds. So technically, it depends on your gut. The production of UA, which is urolithin A, varies amongst individuals due to differences in gut microbiota and also your gut health. If you have poor gut health, if you've been on antibiotics for a long time, if you have a very weak gut lining, you may not be able to produce the right amount of urolithin A because you don't have the right amount of gut bacteria. Now, urolithin A, like I said, is derived from foods rich in elagitanins and elagic acid. Let's go over the vegetarian and the non-vegetarian sources. So technically, if I am eating foods which are rich in elagic acid and elagitanins, what's going to happen is my gut bacteria is going to metabolize this into urolithin A, and that's where the magic is. So pomegranate, a rich source in elagitanins, converted to UA, urolithin A, by gut bacteria. If you do not have diabetes and you're metabolically fit, pomegranate juice is also effective. In the berry family, we're looking at raspberries, strawberries, blackberries that contain elagitanins. Red raspberries especially are known for improving endothelial function, which is your inner lining function of your blood vessels via UA production. Walnuts a significant source of elagitanins and polyphenolic compounds that lead to UA production. Almonds, another rich source of flavonoids and anthocyanins, which contribute to UA formation. Then we also have herbal teas. Green tea and black tea are also powerful for UA. Now, non-vegetarian foods, there are no direct non-vegetarian foods of elagitanins or elagic acid. These are plant-based, but non-vegetarians can consume these fruits, nuts, and vegetarian sources that we just discussed. You can also generate this by consuming prebiotics or probiotics, for example, in yogurt, fermented foods like kimchi. So all of these can enhance gut, the gut's ability to convert elagitanins into UA. Now, what are some of these benefits? Improved muscle health and performance. UA, when I say UA, I'm referring to urolithin A, enhances mitochondrial function, leading to better muscle strength and endurance. So this is even amazing for people who have COPD, who have inflammatory condition, the conditions of the lungs, who have fibromyalgia, who have chronic fatigue syndrome, or any condition that has decreased mitochondrial function, which is energy production. UA will be helpful for muscle health, performance, and energy. It increases protein synthesis and inhibits protein degradation, supporting muscle hypertrophy and maintenance, particularly in aging populations or those with muscle injuries. So if you're aging right now, losing muscle mass for some reason, you're injured, you can't work out, you can't work on building muscle, you would want to look at foods that can be 
converted, the allergic tannins and allergic acid from these foods can be converted into UA. Anti-aging and cellular health. UA promotes, again, uh, the repair of damaged mitochondria, which means better cellular health. It's as simple as that. The better your cellular health, the slower you will age. Anti-inflammatory effects. UA reduces inflammation by targeting certain pathways that decrease inflammatory markers, cytokines and tissues like the brain, the heart, adipose and liver. They can also help or prevent managed conditions like Alzheimer's, type 2 diabetes, and non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases. This is, of course, never a replacement for your medicine, and it works with lifestyle. Your medicines, if you're on it, your nutrition, your exercise, your sleep, and your emotional wellness. Neuroprotection. Urolithin A is showing a promising, a promising studies in protecting against neurogenerative diseases like Parkinson's and, and, and Alzheimer's as well. So along with its anti-inflammatory properties, mitochondrial enhancing effects, which can protect the brain tissue and neuroprotection, this is something that all of us can eat every single day. Cardiovascular health activates pathways that support heart health and reduces plaque and improves endothelial function, endothelial function, which is basically the inner linings of your blood vessels. That's where all the plaque starts from. That's where all the damage happens. So it's simple. This is the power of food. Metabolic health. UA alone may not combat obesity and metabolic syndrome, but it can definitely help you improve your lipid metabolism, which is your LDL, your HDL, and your triglycerides. It can also help you reduce insulin resistance, helping potentially with type 2 diabetes and prediabetes management. It's important to understand again that this is not a replacement for your medication, for your medicines. <clears throat> you can regularly consume all of these foods that we spoke about, pomegranate, berries, walnuts, all of the foods we spoke about. Your gut health, you want to always support your gut microbiota with prebiotics. That's fiber-rich foods and probiotics to enhance UA production. So for example, if my patients or my clients are going through a heavy dose of antibiotics or chemotherapy or radiation, and they have an infection and they're on antibiotics, anything that depletes gut function or microbiota, Besides them being on a prebiotic and a probiotic, we will also put them on UA-rich allagitanin and allagic acid food, uh, rich foods. This is the power of nature. Use it wisely. Like I said, it's not a replacement, but these are common foods. And this is the beauty of food. It works in such a synergistic way. This food is not directly, you know, giving you all these benefits. Okay, it gets broken down, then the Bacteria in your gut is helping metabolize all of these components of the foods that you eat into this powerful urolitin A. Make an informed decision always. Look after your health. Remember, lifestyle matters. Stay tuned for more. We're going to continue our journey learning, sharing, and evolving. <laughs>